Hey you, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you for tuning back into my channel and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. So in this video I am showing you guys the Fury Song Samurai Sword, the medieval broadsword that is a new weapon in the Black Ops 3 Black Market update for the Awakening DLC. Now, this weapon, honestly, I thought it would be my favorite, but it's probably my least favorite just in the fact that the weapon really isn't that good in my opinion. It's pretty cool because you could like block bullets, I think, if you press LT or L2 on PlayStation 4 with the sword, you can kind of like, you know, hold it in front of your enemy like you're trying to block an incoming attack. But the old, I have a few complaints with this weapon. One is the range isn't that great. The fact that, you know, you swing a broadsword and you can't reach out more than three feet in front of you kind of stinks, but the, the sword itself looks so sick, especially with the Element 115 camo. I'm going to show you guys in the next video on how you can actually get these DLC weapons. There's two methods on how to do it. I'm playing in private match. They don't work in online, but you can definitely do it in private match and combat training, which is playing against bots, basically. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But also, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay because it is pretty cool. But like I said, the few complaints I have about the weapon is the range. It doesn't have that great a range. The crowbar has probably more range, honestly, I feel like. And then also, my second complaint for this weapon is the fact that for this sword, you cannot chop people in half. I know there's not much gibbing in Black Ops 3 unless you're using one of the specialist characters, like the War Machine, you can blow legs off and stuff, and the Hive takes off limbs. But if you're using a sniper, you know, you can't blow off arms, legs, or hands, or feet, or whatever. And you can't chop people in half with this sword. That's why I kind of like Dead Island and Dying Light, because when you use a sword, you chop the zombies in half. And that doesn't happen in this game. You just kind of whack the enemies. So it's got a Skyrim-esque feel, kind of like grazed over and they didn't put too much detail or try you know try hardiness into making this weapon the best it could be i mean i appreciate it being a one hit kill which it should be but for a sword i would expect so much more from this weapon so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoy i'm gonna leave you with the gameplay and some music and i would like a like goal of 10 likes that would be absolutely insane my like goal has been 10 likes for all these videos and i hope you guys enjoy the video that i have coming out next like i said it's about how to get these weapons <laughs> in the game for absolutely free so if you do like that please smack that like button i hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video and the next video i will be uploading for you guys so that being said i want to thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next video adios amigos